What's up, guys? So, check in real quick. We want to talk about today's trade. So, you probably saw my trade, hopefully, you did on Instagram uh, that I posted of how I entered the cells uh, this morning. So, it was me and Lawson's trading. We call it the father son account. Um, at the moment, as you can see, father son account balance is up to $53,042. Uh, the goal of this account, obviously, was to start trading it, have some fun with him, and see where we could take it within a month. And the account is officially open a month tomorrow, the fourth. Uh, so, tomorrow marks four weeks that we've been trading on this account. Uh, and man, it's been one heck of a time. Just being able to wake up with him in the morning, have some fun, which we've not traded every day because uh, we were traveling. So we were in Nashville for a bit. We were in Knoxville for a little bit. Um, you know, bounced, had to bounce to Atlanta for a little bit. So yeah, it's been crazy. And um, yes, I'm dressed like an Eskimo because it just feels good. We keep our house at 62 degrees. So 62 degrees, we can dress like this. It just feels comfortable and good. So today's trade, what we're looking for, was if we zoom out, we have these uh, swing high and swing low markers. As you guys know, that's what I trade, swing high, swing low. Uh, so what I've done is I've mapped out these zones, just going from this bottom dot, you know, to the top one, just like that, because we got the swing high marker. So we're looking at the 30 minute chart on the swing high marker, you know, from here to where it actually broke, you know, we're looking at 13 bars, so roughly about six and a half hours. So I knew this was a zone up here for us to break out into buys that we were going to have to break these boxes up here. Um, now you can do a box and, or you can do lines. I like doing a box because when I'm showing Lawson how to do this, it's just visually, you know, it maps out an entire space for him. But if you're doing lines, you know, come here and draw some horizontal lines like this. You have the horizontal line at the top, sorry. Uh, my swing house swing was disappeared to reset. Um, and then this one up here, if you wanted to hit it, you could. All right, so we have these swing low markers. All right, so the swing low marker, we're just taking that one and then we're doing our trend. Um, now, obviously that's not the most pretty trend, uh, but if we zoom in, you know, you can see that we're able to capture this bottom wick here, right there. Yeah, let me get that right. And we're able to capture these candles, you know, call it a candle, some candles there. We caught a wick. So what we were looking for this morning was we cannot break out of this zone. And if we break this trend, we're taking the trade hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, 30 minute candle, you know, pushed, and we take trades own candle open, not candle close. That's how I trade. I trade candle open. So the moment that we got the push, we entered the trade. We entered the trade right here. And we had another entry into this zone here. And the reason that we had that other entry in here that you guys saw was I was looking at the swing low that you see right here. So this swing low was another area that we knew we were going to have a bounce or a push through. So this was where we had our second entry. So we had um, $10 per pip up here, $20 per pip, come out to be $30. We don't even like to trade on a Friday. Uh, so we were you know, minimizing risk, running lower uh, lot sizes than what we normally would. Um, and as you can see, it broke the trend perfect just by using the dots came down, gave us that swing low. As soon as we saw that swing low, came back up, we closed out right into this area here. Now, if we zoom out a little further, it's off here. One thing that you'll notice here, see if I can get these. Actually, I'm going to use this one here, the CCFX, because that's something that comes standard. Um, if you guys are own, uh, carbon capital which is the broker that i use then this is a standard template on there so as we come out we have these swing lows down here you can actually connect these swing lows and when we zoom in on that 30 minute you'll see it broke came back up and that's exactly where we're standing now it's using that as a trend line for bounce so to enter cells which would fall down to this zone here which would be from here to here it's got to break a 30 minute candle on this one if you're trying to play it safe. If you're not playing it safe, um, obviously you had a lot of entries through there. So um, it was, a, like I said, you can play with this however you want to. Um, you know, the one minute chart uh, looked freaking amazing. Uh, if you trade the one minute, and I'll show you that here in a second. So if we look at the one minute chart and we zoom out, uh, you can see that it was just one more amazing, amazing day. Let's see here. So you got all these swing lows with swing highs. So I mean, you're literally just boom, boom. You got entries all over the place, especially when you look at this one here, because that was a swing high, that was a swing low right there, trend. And you caught that entire fall. So super, super good moves. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. It's, it's doing really well. Um, super excited about the trades that we've been having. 
um, super excited about, you know, the progression that we've made. And the goal was to take this account. And as you saw my screenshot that I shared, and that was to, you know, surpass the household medium income um, in the city we live in, which is in Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, which I believe the household medium income right now is like $46,000, $48,000. So uh, what the average person in this area is making in a year, uh, my seven-year-old son made it in a matter of four weeks. And then granted, he had help. And when I say help, you know, I help him choose his lot sizes. Uh, you know, he's, he's not, he doesn't quite understand I mean, he's seven. So it's, it, you know, trying to get the, the division and multiplication and percentages and things like that down. He's learning. Uh, but what he's looking at is just these swing highs, swing lows and the moving averages and painting out our zones. So it's easy for him to look at this and say, you know, dad, we got a swing high, you know, so if we have a swing high and it isn't breaking above these other swing highs, then we should be taking sales, right? So, I mean, that's easy. We're mapping that out like that. So when you have a swing high that comes up and that candle closes on that zone, we're taking sales going down and we can do the same. As soon as we get a swing low, you know, down here and we have that zone like that mapped out, as soon as price jumps back on that zone, we're taking buys up to the top. So it's like the same thing, swing high. You had another swing high over here. You took sales, you know, the sales come up and almost, you know, it almost got back to break even and then it slams down and gets another swing low. As soon as swing low starts coming up, that's another zone to the left. So you're taking buys, you came back up and tapped it. And as soon as it tapped and gave you a swing high, guess what you're doing? You're, you're selling. And when you got a swing low and it broke that zone, you're buying. And it, as you can see, it's just going this. So you always hear people say, you know, I end up selling at the bottom um, and I end up buying at the, you know, I'm sorry, sorry. You're like, you know, I'm putting in sales at the top and it just keeps going up or I'm putting buys at the bottom and it keeps selling down. You know, I wish I could actually put a buy at the bottom and it buy up and put a sell at the top and it sell down. You know, I'd like to do the opposite of what my trades are doing. Um, and that's where these swing high, swing low markers truly help you is they're giving you guidance on these all time highs. Now, even if you didn't want to trade that and you're just looking at something as simple as, you know, the daily time frame, which this will probably take just a little bit to load. I mean, again, I mean, even without a swing high here, it's as easy as saying, <laughs> here's all of our candles. When price hits this daily at the top, we're clicking sell and we're gonna write down. And we've been able to do that. So since I was in Knoxville, uh, that you guys saw me starting this account with him the day that I went to Knoxville, you know, we were able to catch, you know, this move here, it sold down. You know, it's like 500 something pit move. As soon as this candle hit, we were able to catch, you know, this one here selling down. We were able to catch that move going down. We were able to catch that move going down. We were able to catch that whip. We were able to catch this one. So it's it's pretty easy. And then as far as buys, you're doing the same thing. You've got this, you know, this zone here. So as soon as price hits this on a daily candle, you're buying it up. Um, so I love these moves. Uh, we have a super nice alpha trend. Uh, that we've been watching, you know, from here going that way, which we bounced off of to a T. So if you're looking at that daily, you got that swing low marker, you find out right there, you can zoom in and you can see that, I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, we wicked really hard and nice off that trend back into that zone. So super, super excited with what we have. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I do have, yeah, let me show you guys a video real quick. Um, I'd love to show you all this to go over it. So give me one second, we'll stop my share. And we'll go into pause the music in the background. And then let me pull up this Zoom real quick that you guys can, let's see here. Zoom, that would have been on 826. And let me share my screen. Awesome. So man, hopefully yesterday was a good uh, session for psychology. Um, ended up waking so, up this morning to a few messages from you guys uh, that I thoroughly, one, thoroughly so enjoyed. Um, I do want to say I greatly appreciate the feedback. Um, I got to now I got to see people in a different lights playing the video. Some of you guys that were just you know like man, I've been doing this whole trading thing the wrong way. You know, I started trading. And on my days I've lost, Something I actually went back and thought about it. And it was days where, you know, me and my girl so girlfriend have been arguing looking at right there. Yeah, here it is. You're 14. And right there is your 50. Right. And right here is your two. So if I can screenshot this now because I, I had the I found the video that I wanted to share with you. Um, I've never shared a video and a video. There we go. All right, let's share. So this is a video. Um 
that I that I did live with the group. We're um, near each other. Nowhere. So because they're not near each other, it means you're not going to get that big push down. And we're talking one, about you know zones and trades. Push it down super hard. This is where those entries were that we get mm -hmm. it here. Get right here. So I want to see a break. Right, so this, zone this gives you a, this and literally was just done. Let me pause this. Um, so what you're seeing right now on the screen um, was literally just done on the 26th. Um, yeah, of last month when I had my three-day course. And I mean, as you can see here, um, you know, on this is 38,026. Uh, you can see the trades that were in here. Uh, which are looking pretty decent, you know, $1,000 profit. And I'm doing all this live. So, so keep in mind, all this is taking place live within the Zoom. And as we start going through, you know, we get closer to the end right here. You can see that that price, you know, we're setting, I mean, right here, you just, you'll hear what I talk about. Real quick. So what we're doing is we're watching the trade. So as you can see in this trade, uh, we're setting at, you know, $5,729 worth of profit. Uh, we have, you know, a 25, uh, 35, well, let's see, there's 50, 60, 65, $66 per pip um, on this trade. Uh, so in one day on this one, it was, you know, $5,729 worth of profit, which had us at equity of 43. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'm not going to lie, though. It's really, really, really tough for me not to close these out right now. So Lawson did not want me to close these trades out. Um, I may have somewhere in the video in here where Lawson actually comes over to the computer. Um, let's see. He actually comes to the computer at some point. It's a long video. And I'll, I'll get this posted up on Instagram. Uh, I mean, on Instagram, YouTube, so everyone can watch it. But uh, Proper lot size for 100000 Yeah, so it's, you know, it's just a lot of fun. So I wanted to, I wanted to share that because I think it's cool, you know, to see that, you know, last Wednesday, uh, the account's at $38,000. Um, and then we jump on today, and it's at 53000 We had 43000 when we closed out the end of the trades that day. So between last Wednesday... Obviously, well, I mean, this is past Wednesday. So, well, last Wednesday. So from Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then into the end of this week, um, 53. So super, super excited about this. And I'm going to go into more detail, um, you know, as to what we were looking for in our trades and the things that we were trying to trade um, with US 30, because that was the only pair we trade. Um, you know, I'm keeping it simple. Uh, US 30 moves, you know, it does move abruptly. It's very volatile. Uh, but it's easy to read as far as, you know, a kid looking at it because he's he's looking at one pair. And when you scale this thing down to the minute, you know, you've got these nice little moves and breaks where you can go in and, you know, say, oh, there's a swing high marker. There's a swing low marker. Well, dad, we got a swing high up here. So this was a swing high and price went down, but we still have this structure here. So all we're doing is drawing that line. When price breaks that trend line, we're taking cells. Okay. Boom. There's your cell. Your stop loss is up there. So there's your stop loss and there's your entry. You had drawdown of four pips and then you can see where this thing went. So, I mean, just trading on the minute with that one move, you know, you're setting that 49 pips of profit. So, you know, typically when we're trading this, you know, when we're entering the trade, we're looking at $75 per pip. So at $75 per pip, that right there's a $3,600, $3,700 trade all day long um, in a matter of, uh, an hour and 28 minutes. So not too shabby, uh, but I don't want to keep this video too long. I just want to explain today's trades uh, that we were in. Um, I like doing these trade updates. I think it's really important to show those, uh, especially, you know, because we show a screenshot, you know, so a screenshot of the trades we were in. And it's like, yeah, that was an awesome trade, bro. Woohoo, you know, rock on. But why did you take that trade? And I think it's important for you guys to hear why I took it. And all we were looking at, like I said, is that 30 minute. We had, you know, these highs here and we knew that was going to be an area of resistance we knew that this area here it had rejection we had the swing low here so you got your trend like that and as soon as price broke you're taking the trade that was that was it um just those confluence of events you're taking it so hope everyone has an amazing uh, weekend i do have an accelerated class um that starts towards the end of this month uh, it's called accelerating education training uh, no, sorry, I'm, I, I messed up. 
accelerated trading education um, that we're doing. It's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be either a four to six week class. Um, we're doing morning classes and night classes. Uh, now I'm not saying the same. So I mean, like you don't have you don't come to the morning and come to the night. You pick if you want to be part of the morning and you want to be part of the night. Um, that way, for the people who can't make nighttime classes, they can make morning. If they can't make morning, they can make nighttime classes. Um, the entire thing will be recorded. So if you miss a class, you'll be able to come back and watch it. Um, I've just learned going through these in-person three-day classes and then the online three-day classes, it's, it's really helping a lot of people. Uh, so by doing this accelerated program, I'm starting out from scratch. Meaning if you have absolutely no idea what an MT4 is, if you have absolutely no idea what MT5 is, what could, I use MT5, so I shouldn't even say MT4 because I don't even use it. Everything I use is MT5. Uh, but if you don't even know what a PIP is, um, if you don't know what a trend line is, this is for you all the way through the whole thing accelerated, meaning we are covering only the top topics that I feel are needed for you to become a successful trader. Uh, now, yeah. you can finish this class and still suck at trading. You know, some people just don't catch on. Some people need more time. Um, you know, I mean, that's, that's just the way life is. And that's how humans work. But I'm trying to accelerate it, meaning I'm not worried about a Fibonacci. I'm not worried about, you know, if you're using a GAN, uh, GAN flag. I'm not worried. I mean, fan. I'm not worried about if you're using the MACD. I'm teaching you only how I trade at an accelerated rate from beginner all the way to the end. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I think you guys will appreciate what I've put together. And yeah, more details will be coming your way. So again, I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Uh, it is Labor Day weekend. So I know a lot of people like to go out and party and go out on the lake and boats. And uh, me and Hannah were just talking about it the other day. Uh, we hate when Labor Day comes because every single Labor Day, uh, you know, we know someone that either drowns or someone ODs, uh, you know, gets in a, an accident for drinking and driving. So just please be careful out there. Uh, remember that you've got friends and family that love you. So if anyone needs a ride or anything like that, hit them up, hit up your friends, hit up your family. If you're local, hit me up. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get you an Uber, a Lyft, whatever it is. I just want you guys to be safe. So hope everyone had an amazing week. Hope you had a profitable week trading and uh, more updates to come. So. Have a good one.